eight, eight <laughs> minutes late. Welcome to Waste Not Wednesday. We go live every Wednesday and we show you the junk that we're gonna make over and sell or use at our house. I'm gonna pull up comments and I'm gonna have Zeb tell you what we're getting started with here. So today, you know, who, raise your hand if you've got an old paint can sitting around that's empty or mostly empty and the paint's crusty in it and gross. These DIY paint cans are great little planters and we're going to turn them into something fun. We gotta do some, some uh, arts and crafts on them. Um, so this one was mostly empty and so we uh, we we do have some wet paint in that so i'm gonna heat gun this the bottom one was a little all bit. the way empty yeah you'll get the you'll get the big crusties look at this so you you know when your diy paint's running at the end when you can chunk off like basically purple clay or whatever color it is in the can <laughs> if you guys like makeovers like this make sure you're hitting that subscribe button we're going to be taking these cans of old paint that are all gone we're going to actually dry them because we open them we're like okay that one's gone that one's gone we're going to heat gun them and then we're going to turn them into planters because day cinco de mayo i have what they call cool apenos otherwise known as the that. gringo jalapeno well we grabbed these i'm like are these peppers are these jalapenos and then i looked and it's like cool apeno I'm like, it's a heatless jalapeno for my middle-aged friends who get heartburn and my gringo friends anyways i just couldn't find regular jalapenos <laughs> these are going to be some takeaway um presents for my friends coming over for cinco de mayo and then we're going to be also planting in an old container but we're going to be doing some stenciling some saw washing just kind of showing you how to, you can make over some planters um, maybe you wouldn't be doing it for Seco de Mayo, but you would just need to make something cute. So you can use different stencils or um, colors for different looks. All right, let's get started with some painting. Okay, so... Do we need me to dry any of these out? Like, no, so, let's not So we've not got crusties around the lids, but it's all natural, the DIY paint is. And fun fact, we've tested this before. Jamie's painted, uh, planted in a couple of these with like paint and stuff in them that was like not quite dry because she was in a hurry and it was fine. Like the, the plants are alive and doing good. This is my fiddle fig I propagated myself. It's in a DIY paint can. The paint was wet in the bottom. It's still fine. <laughs> I actually probably need to water this while I'm thinking about it. All right. So I am going to start stenciling. We've got the, let's see if I can say it. For, oh yeah, Mother's Day is coming too. So this Flochlorico. So there little, you go. She said it right. Little uh, <laughs> lesson on that stencil. I grew up in a town called Calexico, California, um, from second grade to eighth grade. So I don't remember too much before that. And I, it's right next to the border of Mexicali. And I used to do Flochlorico dancing. Very. Um, not in my natural habitat, but I did it anyways at school. <laughs> and so I made this stencil because it reminded me of my childhood and growing up. You want to pass me a board. bag? What? You want to pass me a bag? I'm going to try yeah. a bag first. So we're going to do bags first. Um, we got the bag idea from Brie at Upcycled by Brie. And I just thought it'd be fun. I have to decorate for the Cinco de Mayo party that we're having with our friends today anyways. And I thought, why don't I just make decorations that they can also take with them? So we're doing that. So these bags are a little tall. What do we do with the bags? Are we chopping off the handles and pulling them back? Yeah, chop off and then you can roll them back or you can pull them in. Okay. And then do we have some twine? Mm, I'm sure somewhere. I think in the other craft cabinet. You know how like some people hide snacks randomly throughout the house? We hide crafting supplies randomly throughout the house. Okay, that seems logical. I so we recently discovered that Jamie's mom hides treats that she wants, like she's worried the kids are gonna eat them all, <laughs> which does happen, and she will hide treats in her room. And the kids have discovered that grandma has the special treats in her nightstand a lot of times, so they're not really that hidden anymore. <laughs> all right, I'm going to do, there's a little bit of paint left in this one. So I'm gonna mix a little salt wash and the paint that's left, I'll use up the paint on the outside of the can and then I'll plant in it, how about that? So I'm gonna do a fun color, I think. Okay. Um, well, I've got a little hint of this summer crush left in here. Show us a few steps. Mostly just a really awkward white girl doing this. <laughs> and hoping that my pretty dress supersedes any lack of rhythm. <laughs> <laughs> And people always say, oh, um, in Mexico, they don't celebrate Cinco de Mayo. But you know what? I live next to the border. Like, when I say next to the border, I mean, as in us in Mexicali, there's a fence. 
and we celebrate Cinco de Mayo every year. So I don't know about the rest of the people down south, but us border people, we celebrated it. Well, and and maybe we didn't care. We just wanted a reason. And to celebrate. where you were at was like it's it's like Baja, right? It's Baja, Baja California. Yeah, so maybe a little different than uh, Mexico City. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Ain't nobody eating uh, black beans when I was growing up. In fact, the first time I ever had a black bean, I was like in Texas and I was like, what is this? I only ate pinto beans. I will be having frijoles tonight and they will be pinto. Comment below, you pinto, team pinto or team black? Bean, that is. All right. Okay, so I think I'm gonna do a few colors and mix it up. Jenna says I had I had craft supplies in my car from my hubby. <laughs> Is it because you don't want him to know you bought them, or because you don't want him to use, him to use them? If you don't, if it's because you don't want him to know you used them, you're winning. Or uh, that team you Pinto. don't want Jane him to use them. Jane said team none. Jane, I thought we were close. My mom really can't eat beans either, but I love beans. If you guys, and one of the things that always cracks up, Zeb, is like, I, I, I only lived next to the border like eight years, but like second to eighth grade to me is like formative years. And so there's things that are so funny to me that he just doesn't get. And so anything that's any kind of like Hispanic humor, like the Mexican mom jokes or the chancla, all that kind of stuff is so funny to me because that's how I grew up. Like that was all my friend's mom's. I always wanted a Mexican mom that chased me with a chunk love, but my mom was not because I was very much the lone gringo. But um, there's a I, look up Mexican. You wanted moms. to get chased with a chunk love? No, I just thought it was funny. Um, look up Mexican <laughs> moms ASMR. I can't remember what the actual channel is called, but it makes you laugh so hard. I also like their salsa reviews. The Mexican moms that do the ASMR. That is funny. The salsa reviews are good. <laughs> Just <laughs> watch out if you're partial to some salsa because they uh, they pretty much bag on most of them. Yeah, all the salsa you <laughs> thought was good salsa. They're like they're it's like no in the house out. making it from scratch with fresh tomatoes and peppers and stuff. And, all right. You know they're trying this salsa off the off the shelf from the store. And they're like, nope, nope. Salt wash and layered chocolate. Like one 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 gal was actually spitting it out. Yeah, she. <laughs> Uh, Robin prefers baked beans. <laughs> I should because my family is from the South and not Mexico South, but I don't prefer baked beans. Zeb likes baked beans. Yeah, put a little bacon in them. Mm -hmm. <laughs> we went to Mexico on a cruise not that, I don't know how long it is. Maybe it's been a minute, I guess it's been a long time ago. It's been like Seven five years, years six years. Was I still working at Discount Tire then? I think I was. Maybe. Anyways, All I right. digress. So on this we brown the... bag, that orange was not bright enough. I might have to go back over that with something brighter. That's all right. We could clear wax it. Okay. And it'll come. We went to Ensenada, and I was talking to all the shop owners, because I do speak Spanish. I know I'm not going to do it for you, because I'm not very good at it anymore. She can. She's like, oh, I'm out of practice. But anytime we go somewhere and there's someone that speaks Spanish, she speaks to them, and it's great. And at one point, I lost Zeb in a store. I'm like, ¿Dónde está mi gringo? And the people thought it was so funny because they knew who my gringo was. He's six foot two and very bald and light skinned. I had my Swedish shirt on yesterday. <laughs> We're a good pair. All right, I need some brighter colors. Hit me with some more bright colors. What, what did you bring? <laughs> uh, up, upcycled by Bree says, suddenly hungry. What did you want? Sorry, I get super excited when I talk about my childhood. I had a really good time. It was great. You know, it was a little painful to be a minority. I did get made fun maybe, of a lot, but... Maybe we should be planting in this. <laughs> this is the top. <laughs> I went to the shop. We haven't painted there in a it's while. It's been a minute <laughs> since we've painted at the shop, and apparently this lid was not on great. Look at that, though. It's like a makeup palette. <laughs> How Yay. many do I need to do like this? Because um, how many would, bags are you going to stencil? Like? I would say just do a couple. I'll do I'll three like this and you do three bags. Okay. Yeah? Yeah. Okay. Oh, man. This is kind of fun to play with. It's almost like Play-Doh. 
I've heard people dry it out, put it in the And it is pigmented. I bet, I, I bet I could add water to that and use my immersion blender. Actually, it. underneath, it's fine. That was the protective layer, you know, yeah. like when your ice cream gets crystals. Like so I'm going to do the red and some yellow. I'm just going to lay my stencil back on here. 100, 200 people are watching now. You guys right. can share this out on Facebook if you want, yeah. or you can put it, or you can tweet it on the tweet, Twitter. It's probably because we were late. So if you're just tuning in, yeah. we're making over junk. Sometimes people are like, oh, they're late, they're not gonna show. I don't think we've ever not shown, but sometimes life happens and, you know, we gotta, we gotta be right. a few minutes late. All right, those are done. I still have salt wash in here a little bit of maybe just do two bags okay i'll just use this on the outside of the can that it's in so we're gonna so we've got some bags. liquid sunshine here where are my liquid sunshine fans we don't paint with it often on this channel so i i need you we to got out the fire starter. i need you to give the uh the liquid sunshine and the summer crush a shout out cinco de mayo the day that jamie doesn't paint white We have three pinatas, a giant blow up cactus. I have ordered my meat from my favorite local Mexican restaurant. If you're local to uh, Lehigh area, we always order out from Mexicans. We do their two pound family meals, a really good deal. And they do give rice and beans, but never enough. So we have extra rice and beans coming. All right. Oh, you know what? I should salt wash the tops of these because I realize we're not bagging this up. So I need to make them all look good. Yeah, all along the top. And then I'll probably paint them white so then they'll be ready to stencil. My kids are playing mariachi music this morning. Fun fact, we eat tamales every Christmas Eve and talk about the posada, which if you don't know what the posada is, you're gonna have to, you're gonna have to do the Google. Because I grew up doing the posada at school. Even though I went to public school and it's a very Mexican Catholic tradition, I did it and loved it. That's how I learned to make tamales was in elementary school. I'm not very good at it, but I do it anyways. The paint was still wet on this one. Oh no, Christine says that uh, she is running late, but she's like, she's gonna stay for a while because what's a few extra minutes? All right. That's me, Zeb's the on time guy. Unless he's late and then nobody better talk to him about being late because he's already mad at himself. Yeah. You can't tell him anything I, that he's I, already telling himself. I'm a self corrector and I'm like, oh man, we are late and it's my fault and I'm, he, he I'm grumpy. <laughs> All right. Okay, this one's ready to be planted. I think plant them first and then we're gonna drop it down in. Yeah, I'm not gonna. Do you wanna salt wash the top of this? Cause I kinda. Let me move these over. These are the... actually going in this container over does here. The, does the can need to be like bigger or the, the paper bigger what? than the can? I kinda cut these so we can fold them over a little bit, but. I don't know what you did. Here look, this is what I did. Okay, these are just gonna go over here for right now. We'll plant this in a little bit. And no, I'm not a master planter. And yes, I'm overcrowding these. These are, this is gonna be like a centerpiece this old bucket situation here and this will be cool once we get it planted cool. just just keep watching all right you're gonna have to you want to heat gun that um yes <laughs> yes i do all right am i planting this one uh yeah okay. that's fine i need some rocks okay i've got rocks when do you want the rocks when they're not gonna be in your way let me grab the heat gun out. I think it's gonna be like mid 60s today, which is, if it's not windy, is basically perfect for a party, at least for us. Right. People always think I must like the heat because I grew up in Calexico and in Arizona, but I don't like. I also don't like cold either. I'm more of a San Diego girl, but apparently Heavenly Father wants me to live here because I tried to move to California and it didn't happen. All right. Nope, we bought this house instead. And then we just bought a church, which we are, you guys, make sure you watch tomorrow's video because unless something goes wrong, we should be filming in the old church that we bought uh, today. 
that we're buying. That we're buying, sorry, that we're buying. We're in the process of, nothing set in stone. Okay, there we go, disclaimer, that we are buying. I'm actually working on getting the commercial zoning fixed. Um, yeah, we have. Got Jimmy, lots of Jimmy spent all day yesterday doing profit and loss stuff. And, oh, I hate paperwork. And going to the, uh, the city so that we can get the zoning in front of the right council members. And uh, they don't, they, they do it like once every, is it once every quarter or once every two months or? Once a month they have all the meetings. So we have like one meeting next week and then another meeting in a few weeks. And then in June, the city council meeting. You have leather wood on your face. I can't, I can't lick that off. It's right here. I didn't ask you to lick it off, you just go wipe it off. It's not wipeable, it's dry. Well, <laughs> I'm not gonna lick I mean, the paint off no your face. I don't know what you want me to do. Hold <laughs> your face. I'm like, what, what is that? Am I supposed to? Is am I supposed to kiss the paint on your face? What are you doing? <laughs> it's fine. I made these flowers with Eliza this morning with tissue paper. Oh, super chat. Uh, Yumiko says, "Tip for whomever made my beautiful box. I loved it." Um, which box did you get, Yumiko? <sighs> Was it like a subscription Does box? Does it have sheep Was on the top? Seb did the sheep boxes. Does it have the, the sheep decoupage paper? The sheep so in next, the forest? Oh, did you get me some dirt? I have not gone and gotten the dirt All right, yet. this is the cool Peño pepper in case you just joined. It's the gringo pepper. So we got those. I wonder what they taste like. Are they going to be like bell peppers Listen, or just like a... I don't know. <laughs> Like a nacho Dorito. They have all the flavor without the heat, is what I've been told. All the flavor without the heat. The heat at the end is okay, we what need you some want. More. Oh, oh, oh! You need more dirt. I need more dirt, but I can't pull this out now. It's like a little. It's like a little trap. Okay, I'll run go grab the dirt. So yep, yeah. I'll just pull it up, and then we'll just like put dirt in. That'd be good. So we're making little planters here. These ones that don't have salt wash, they just have rocks in the bottom. These are gonna get. Uh, the bags and I'm going to recommend to my friends that they probably transplant these fairly quickly. I'm not guaranteeing the life, the longevity of this situation. What is the church for Connor? We are, we have put in an offer to purchase the church to move the shop to. So it's it was that. built in 1894. It's an old, old building. Oh, 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 oh yeah, you already have a hole. Oh, there's a hole right there. Yeah. We also got to clean up the farmhouse. We're gonna we're gonna make party. this hole I, bigger and use it. Okay. Just, yeah. So I was gonna say, just work with the hole that you, you got. Here. But just grab some, and then I'm gonna take this back outside because well, that's a mess. I gotta plant all these. So I'm gonna need a lot. So you wanna just hold it while I plant this? Yes. I'll just be your your uh, dirt, dirt holder. holder. Well, we have your potting mix. More blooms for more color. We have um, think paint drying, so we're multitasking. Here. Yeah. I'm a really good planter, guys. You know, uh, most stuff lives if you remember to water it. I think that's the, you know, plants are sensitive. Too much sunlight, not enough sunlight. Too much water, not enough hey, I'm water. I'm sensitive too. The problem is now I have dirt everywhere. So yeah, you do. You're we're making, gonna have to stencil over on that. You're side. making a mess. That's why she's on that side today. We switched it up. Thank you, Caitlin's. The church will be JRV headquarters. Yeah. And no, we are not starting a new religion with reduced ties. You did make that joke. I did make that joke. I'm when like, my I'm mom gonna... was like, what are you? No, my sister Kate was like, what are you going to do with the church? Jamie's like, well, we're going to rent it out to, uh, to we're a gonna new religion. We're going to start a new religion with reduced ties. It's all about marketability. And then, uh, and then you know, she was just teasing. I took a minute to say I was teasing, though. Teasing, just, you know, got to let it ride. I never had younger sisters, so I have to tease my sister-in-law. All right, you got the dirt on that one. How, that many, one. how much more dirt do you need? Well, now we're waiting on paint to dry. Why don't Let you us... just put, oops, there's a little dirt in my salt wash. Why don't you just put the bag right here? I'll put it up there so you yeah, can reach it. Yeah, like over on that yeah. side. Sorry. I got to move the salt wash. The next time I salt wash, we're going to have a little texture. More than you normally have. Okay. Did you, and then dry that one and I'll plant it in there. Sorry, guys. You got one bag done. You want to show them this? <clears throat> yeah. Amber says, I could probably kill a fake plant. I don't think you could. I don't know. I actually always had fake plants when we moved here. Jack said, 
Can you please get some real plants? And I am proud to say I have had a fiddle fig alive since we moved in. And I actually have propagated, which is a little plant I showed you earlier. I cut off a little bit, grew some root system, and then potted it just to see if that would work. And my fiddle fig has grown from a number two crock all the way to a number four crock. I'm about ready to move it into a number five or number six crock. I also planted outside, I have lavender in number two crocs and then lilacs. I bought these big plastic buckets and I planted lilacs and then I put those buckets inside all buckets. And you have to do that because all buckets have holes. <laughs> so I had to put a bucket inside my bucket. So on my front porch, I have lilac and lavender and it has also not died. All right. Well, one lavender died. I don't know how I was cute that's going to look, you know, maybe tie it up. It's totally cute. All right. Can you do me one with like kissing booth and? Yeah, I do. I do crafting well. I'm not good at implementing the cuteness. You're not good at implementing the cuteness. Uh uh. It's all right. Give me a toolbox. I can paint and stencil some old signage on that all day. And we got this. <laughs> I also saw people use like El Pato cans. All right, there we go. And they planted succulents and alpato cans. Here, show them close so they can see that. Ta-da! It's cute. I like it kind of crunchy. I think you were trying to be too neat with it. That I know, I feel like I was, and now you're over there wrinkling it and it looks better. Yeah. Alright. It's not a perfectionist craft. Just go with it. Let it be organic with the plant. Alright, we got this one. We'll see which ones the, the friends pick first as their takeaways. All right, we need another bag done. Okay. You can stencil that one. I will plant this one. I need rocks. You're going to plant that before I stencil it? You can plant after you stencil, can't you? Stencil can you stencil after, the bag? I can't, I can't really stencil that after you plant it. Okay, you stencil that. I'll dry the other ones. Okay. <laughs> Dámelo, por favor. Which means, hand that to me, please. Spanish lesson. Although I speak border Spanish, so. I was gonna say, didn't, it's you, all... didn't you struggle with your Spanish teacher? Yes. In high school? <laughs> we had a discussion because I said a monkey was a chango and she told me a monkey was a mono. I'm like, listen, okay. When my friends would tease my other friends, they would call them changos, which wasn't very nice. I know what the word is. I did win some competitions in high school though. Cause they did like Spanish readings. And so I would do that. I was in the newspaper once. My mom probably still has the clippings. Sherry said that her coworker brought in hatch green chicken chili tortilla soup today. Yum. Nice. Odelia has succulents and a fiddle fig, although Odelia, I think your fiddle fig needs some love. Last time I saw it, I think it's it's probably all the dirty clothes, like the off-gassing from the dirty clothes tiles. Just kidding. I she's, can't say it. She's anything. in the other room. She's like, oh. <laughs> I have a big pile of clothes in my room, too, but in my, mine are all clean. I washed them with full intent to hang them up yesterday, but then life happened, and there, were, there was no hanging up of the clothes. So this is a little interesting, stenciling over the salt wash on a round object that's not dry so I can't tape it. So we'll see I how this like turns you need out. I to let go of the orange and go with the yellow. I've got yellow over here. It's just... You need brightness. I, I've let go of the orange. I've got yellow. I'm just all blending right. all the colors together. Oh, you know what we were going to do? We were going to paint them white and then do that. Yeah, well, too late now. You went weathered wood. Yeah, your color composition there is questionable. I'm just going to keep heat getting this. I probably needed to do like a blue or just a straight white. I have blue in there. On here with this weathered wood underneath, but maybe I'll go back over it and it'll be like a fun blend. Maybe. All right, so I'm just drying the heat gun, the heat gun. I'm using the heat gun to dry the salt wash. Carolyn's making enchiladas. Also delicious. Odelia says, look, my fiddle fig is al still alive and doing well. You 
guys haven't tuned in to yesterday's uh, video we put up, check that out. We took you guys thrifting, finished a few projects. Up in the mountains. The mountains got more comments than the thrift store. And I played catch with a dog, and we'll put that in the video. We were working super hard because we wanted to get to a million subscribers, and we're only at 167,000, so we've got a ways to go. We're trying to get more content up. Jane says she's making spaghetti. I like that too. I like it. You know what? It's throw some. It's pretty rare. Throw some cheese on there, and then throw some like parsley, and that's red, white, and green, which are the Mexican flag colors. So there you go, spaghetti Cinco de Mayo done. So there's not very many foods that I won't eat. Um, in fact, I don't think I can't really think of one that I won't eat. Um, I don't prefer celery. We'll say that. Zeb does not like celery. He will bark at it. I mean, but if you give it to me and it's presented with like peanut butter and raisins. It's how it's presented. <laughs> I might. <laughs> you add some accoutrements to the celery. Uh, Tanya wants Zeb to build a bench on camera. We, oh. I don't know if he's going to build a bench out of that. We'll see. All right, so the brown works with this orange and red kind oh, of mixed yeah, it combo. Does. It's a really good, just, you know, but it needs more, like all the way around. All the way around? Yeah, I think okay. it needs more. So I'm, I'm really digging that, though, on the salt wash. Well, Leslie, tell your daughter happy birthday. The best part is I just, like, salt washed right over the label. Okay, nothing wet down there. All right, I'm just going to continue on. We're going to power through right here. Mixing my, so I've got Marquee over here is what I'm using. And um, now I can't, you took the box. What? What's that? Liquid sunshine? No, the crush one. Summer crush? Summer crush. I wanted to call it orange crush. I was stuck on that. Where's Lolly Lolly? We're using orange. Emma, on, are you Emma. here? I don't even see her here today. I'm gonna text her, we have her number, and I'm gonna be like, Emma, we used orange, and you weren't even there. All right. Maybe must have just ordered something, because my phone says she used her green light card. Sorry. I'm really into this heat getting so right I'm, now. So I'm a bad dad this week. Mother's Day is on Sunday, right? And the kids are like, Dad, Dad, you need to take us so we can go get something for Mother's Day. I'm like thinking in my mind, I'm like, okay, I think Friday night I'll have time to take you guys somewhere. Just take them to the shop. I was, I always have a hard time because I always want to buy me stuff. I'm like, everything I love is at the store. Like I buy all my favorite stuff. So I've already started ordering Father's Day. It's already starting to arrive. Camping supplies. Oh, that's my Father's Day? I thought you were just getting that. Yeah, I bought it, and then I'm going to actually go camping. You're welcome. <laughs> I just know that Zeb has, like, been pushing it for a while. He wants to go camping. I'm not a camper, so I'm always like, you've got to plan it. And I know that when he plans she it... She doesn't like to camp the way I like to camp. I don't plan a camp out. I throw a sleeping bag and some food in the back of the truck, and we're gone. She's like, I, I need my... Stuff. She's like, where's my pop-up camper? I can't so, go camping. I've been buying stuff so that way when you do go camping and I go with you, I'm not like sleeping on the ground. I got a tent. I got some cute cast iron. I got a really cute lantern. So what? I also don't camp at campgrounds ever. Like I will go find a place in the middle of the woods. I got some really cute enamel Where no one's going to be driving by. And that's. That's where I go camping at. And Camp she's decorate. like, she's like, that campground has a picnic table. Let's go there. Oh, I didn't buy a picnic table to take with us. Now you're getting We're too, gonna need the trailer. Now you're getting too much stuff. If I can't hike it in, we hike can't in. we can't have it. <laughs> I I just gotta know, like really I set y'all up. And then I go I did to the hotel her, and I visit during the day. I did tell her if we ever went backpacking, all she had to carry was her water and food and I would carry everything else. And she hasn't taken me up on that offer yet. You haven't planned it. See, I'm like, I don't like camping, so I'm not planning it. But I will show up. So I've just been, I've literally been blending these three colors and just kind of using the same stencil brush. Lisa camps in an Airstream. 
Oh, that actually sounds Caleb awesome. Caleb likes to camp in a hotel room. Yep. You know yep. what? He says he likes to camp, right? But a lot of times we do day camping where we go for the day and then we come home and he's like, this is really nice. And I'm like, right? Just like when he used to tell me, oh, I love bologna. And then I bought him ham for a long time and then I bought him bologna and he was like, this is a very good, I'm like, I know. Did you already put rocks in here? Yeah, does it, does it have a certain jiggle to it? Does it it's sound not like a dry enough to stencil though. That one is. Okay. This All hot right. wash is thick. So I'm gonna try one now. I've got the red theme going. I'm gonna try some blues. Well, some greens. Jana says camping three days tops. The good news is we have to make videos, so we can't. So I kind of got Jamie. Jamie got lucky. I was in scouting program for a long, long time with the church. And now he's again. And <clears throat> yeah, now I'm back in again. But we we the they church do their has own scouting. done their, is doing their own scouting type youth program now. We we're not part of the BSA anymore. Um, but she was off the hook because basically in the summer we go camping once a month with the scouts for like the last 15 years. And so I, I got it out of my system, but you know, I haven't been camping in a couple of years and it's summertime. Hey, I got a nice air mattress it's coming from Amazon. I actually found a company that wholesales like outdoor gear. They're so from Salt Lake and they, Salt Lake. we get it like next day. So we're going <laughs> to try it all out. And if we like it, then we'll tell you, maybe we'll sell it. But I got, we got it. It's, it's market research. Okay, so I'm going to use, so we're going to go with Liquid Sunshine. I've got Salty Kiss. And then, where's, I needed another one. Hang on. We don't have it. Oh, here it is. Oh, excuse me. Blue Iris. So if you guys have been waiting for us to use color on the channel, we actually use a lot of color, but then we mute it down with white wax. <laughs> Are you waiting for color? Here's your Fiesta. Okay. So there's that one. All right. You can plant is, this one. I can plant that one. Yep, okay. I'm going to heat that to make one. sure it's all the way dry. Yep. Get it good and dry. You could also, if you wanted to do bigger arrangements and you have like uh, paint gallons, you can also uh, do this exact same technique in soup cans, like really just anything that's left over. I'm a really good saver of all kinds of garbage. And then I'm like, why do I have a box full of cardboard and metal? Because one day I might need it. All right, I'm gonna dry the paint that's left over in here. There's just like a little bit of paint down on the bottom. Add some rocks. We're doing good. We got you down. Hi, mom. Jamie's, Jamie's mom doesn't like to be on I'm gonna, camera, I'm, we're gonna but she pops you. over here. She's watching us through the window in, in the, the mud, mud room, room that we didn't take out of the exterior of the come house. Come say hi now. You gotta say hi. You gotta come say hi, mom. Come say hi. She's come like, on, you're cute and you're like, festive nope. today in your bright orange and pink shirt. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna put some dirt on the bottom of this. And I will, when, we're, when these are dry, all the way, all the way, all the way, I will uh, brush on a coat of sealer on these because they'll probably live outside. Uh, Sherry says they have a pop-up tent that fits in the back of their truck. Seb's talked about it too. We actually, so my plan, you guys, when we get done and get the church situation taken care of, we want to buy some land and buy old, like really old, decrepit, single-wide trailers and turn them into like cabins. Obviously, we'll fix them up and redo the inside. Yeah. It'd be like a uh, old trailer makeover. It'd be a waste not trailer Wednesday. But we'll do like wraparound porch and things like that, and it, it might be. Zeb's really like, cool. but what about this? But what about that? I'm like, listen, it's just in lieu of a tent. It doesn't have to be super fancy. All right, that one's planted. I think I actually like this better than the paper bag because when you water it, the bag's gonna get wet. Not if you're careful, though. So I, we might come back and... I might stencil this one over again. This is, this is darker on the brown than the oranges were. Oh, okay. I'm having so to add lots of yellow. This one's going to get the paper bag. I'll just tell them, like, be careful if you, if you take the paper bag home. Oh, Angelina, it's Cinco de Mayo, and we're making jalapeno planters for our Cinco de Mayo. Culapeno. They're culapenos, actually. Uh, heatless jalapeno. Seems like an oxymoron, but you know. <clears throat> Says all the flavor, none of the heat. All right, this one's gonna be ready for you in a second. I'm hurrying. I'm making a mess over here on the 
We also want to buy a property in Sweden, so you know. We got, we got you know, if, you, if you don't, if you don't dream, then uh, it's kind of like if you're not going forward, you're going backwards. You got to have goals and dreams and stuff you want to do. I like the green, but I think we need some blue on that. Yeah, I'm, I'm getting there. Oh, that one has rocks in it already? Yeah, yeah you already rocked it. I rocked that. All right, um, I'm going to plant my tub then while you're doing that. Okay. And you know, a lot of this stuff we talk about never really comes to fruition, but a lot of stuff does. Like, we've wanted this church since we moved into the town. I didn't know when I wanted it, when I was going to do with it. I was just like, oh, She's I, just like, I love that That church building. ever comes on the market. It actually didn't come on the market. Never came on the market. We, we approached them, and they're like, yeah, we feel like it's time to sell. I was like, sweet. I need some plastic for the bottom of this. And I happen to have... Some plastic right here. I don't even know what came in this. Oh, this is, um, this plastic is what one of our throw pillows came in that we sell at JRB Home. I can't. Are you um, struggling with your chair? Yeah. I'm putting this down on the bottom though because there's holes in my bucket. <laughs> and so I don't want it. I'm going to be putting this on the center of my fiesta table and I don't want water everywhere and dirt. Oh, this is Box. I mean, you can buy plastic, but you probably have plastic that you can use. And I like reusing stuff that A, I don't have to pay for, and B, it's better to reuse than recycle because it doesn't take any energy to use something you already have. I need more rocks. That's cool with the, oh, the like blues that. mixed in, kind of. Good job. So they're still a little wet. They'll lighten up a little bit. Okay, right. so where's Can my you other- dump dirt in here for me? Yeah. And these ones need to dump still be Dump dirt, stuck. how much dirt do you need? And then that All one. All right, hold that plastic up. That's why people normally plant and paint outside. So I was watching, I was editing some videos the other day and I noticed that I wear this blue shirt and then like a Quicksilver, I think, uh, shirt that are, that's blue a lot. And I'm like, man, I wear those shirts all the time. I'm like, I'm washing the laundry. And then we were doing the laundry and I have three of each of these shirts. Oh, the same time. <laughs> they must have been on sale uh, or something. Or what happens a lot of times is they'll be on sale and Jenny will get one for Harrington and she'll get one for me. And then they'll be on sale again and she'll forget what color she got. And so I have like, I'm like, well, that makes sense. <laughs> well, this is going to flop over. So I'll fix this. The other thing too is you're really picky. Yeah. I you only like it. certain things. So I just buy the same thing over and over again. Okay. I need a paper bag for this one, right? Yeah. Okay. And yes, I know I'm going to be putting too many flowers in this. I don't care. This is my centerpiece. I don't have, I don't have weeks to wait for this to grow together. So I don't care. All right. These are going across the back. This is like an old uh, picking. Okay. Now I need more dirt right here. This is an old picking bucket. I'll just do it. It's fine. Just grab it. We've already got a mess. I'm going to peel the drop cloth up and we'll go shake it out on the grass. Shake, shake. I'll take pictures. <laughs> you guys should see the table that we're going to be using, like the biggest table. We built the house with the table, and so it's like got. I used it. I used it as paint, a workbench. Got epoxy on it. I used it as my workbench slash uh, cutting table. <laughs> but I have some Mexican blankets that I'm using as tablecloths, so nobody will be the wiser. For covering up the table, it doesn't have to be pretty. We bought it at the thrift store for like fifteen dollars, probably I don't know, ten years ago maybe. Thing. Looks like mums. Um, these are, I bought them because they were red. They're dahlias. And then I've got these brilliant bloom petunias. This says dark blue, but I'm telling you, this is Lehigh purple. Break up that root ball. These are really is Lehigh purple. Brown. 
I love purple and red together. So does my mother. She will enjoy this. All these plants are really wet. They must have like legit just watered them. Well, it is morning. They usually water in the morning. Yeah. All right, I need more dirt to hold this up. Hey, you're getting dirt over here though. Oh, it's texture. Slow your roll. Oops, and all on your phone. You're such a messy crafter. <laughs> uh, that's why you married me. That's good. You're good at sweeping. I'll turn on the Roomba. The Roomba is going to be like, ur, ur, ur. if you don't know what a Roomba is, it's an electric vacuum. We recently we filmed vacuum. part of it, but we never really did anything with it. We bought one of those pallets, you know, where you can buy a pallet of Target <clears> returns. <throat> and one of the items was a Roomba. It's very exciting. I used my stimulus chest. I know I'm weird. I was like, hey. All right, so this one, I like it too. They really, the colors actually, once they're dry, they pop a lot better. They're like bright on the paper. I need to like- If you're just joining, this is what this off. is gonna look like. Well, I thought about doing cut flowers, you know, for the centerpiece, but they don't last very long as is evidenced by the roses over there by my sink that are dead that I bought last week. Okay, we're getting there. Okay, now this one. What? Do we have- One is a different stencil. I've got some kissing booth here. No, I think this is fine. We're I just mean, gonna keep the folkloric theme. Yeah, we're getting some good variation out of these. I do have those ones that are just what are those on the top there? Those are hydrangeas. It's I, all right. Just use I the I could do the hydrangea, but I really am liking this. I mean, it's this is one of my favorite stencils, actually. It's really versatile. Normally, I do it in black and white, and today, look how beautiful that stencil is today. I'm gonna grab a different stencil brush for this. I'm this available for potting lessons in case anybody needs them. Like, get the dirt everywhere. Oh yeah, that kissing booth's gonna brighten this right on up. I need to pull these up a little. Put some dirt underneath them. I never think I'm gonna be like as messy as I am. It's because you don't really go slow on anything. That's true. Everything's, but you know, you clean fast too, so whatever. Right. <laughs> I only have one speed. It's your kitchen, you do what you want. It's your kitchen too. Eh. Hey. Although I probably actually do cook more because I basically cook all day Sunday. Um, you cook one day a week. Let's not, let's not mince words. And then, and then occasionally we have steak. Mm -hmm. I prepare food. I mean, cook is a loose term, but I do prepare food in here. Nobody texts you and says, hey, dad, what's for dinner? Never once have they texted me All right, and said, hey, dad, what's for dinner? All right. Move this over to the side. Because I've got, I got the program down. I don't know if you know that. What is the program? I don't know what's for dinner. Ask your mom. Stinker. <laughs> I'm gonna have to wash like all my bowls have dirt in them. All right, I need, so I have left over this. I used all my, I just have that. I just need, I feel like I need to water this. Really, oops, I forgot to seal that first. Why can I plant this in? Um, do you have some, there's, so did that blue jar, or that blue pitcher sell from the thrift haul? Um, that's too small. Is it? Yeah. I don't think it is. It's big on the bottom. Just get the dirt down in there. It'll be fine. That's all right. I got this. I found this in the pantry. Remember when you broke the lid? Yep. I 
can just use the dirt that's like on the top top. Here, let me show you this now that this one's getting a little more dry. What? You killed your air plants. <laughs> Aren't you not supposed to water those? You like missed them or whatever? Bam. Yeah. Too much water will get those ones. It'll get them. All right. Almost got this planted. Jane likes those colors. My hands are full, so you gotta read comments. I was reading comments. They're talking about Mother's Day and granddaughters, looks oh. like. We're gonna do at the park, we've got a church activity with the kids. And one of the things they get to do is fill out a paper about their mom, like, what is your mom's favorite color? How tall is she? How old is she? And those are always funny with little kids because they have like, they're like, my mom weighs 400 pounds. She's two inches tall. <laughs> they have no idea. one you know you got me thinking about it i don't know if there's any substance on earth that weighs 400 pounds and is only two inches tall i mean i guess no. it could be wide but like a two inch by two hey, inch square kids, two inch by two inch square it came in came to mind and i'm like nope all right this one's watered all right Challenge accepted. Now I must Google when we're done. What is the heaviest substance on earth? <laughs> the heaviest substance? I don't think the heaviest substance is even going to do that. I'm going to move your colors here. I'm going to move these flowers so you guys can look at them. I planted this dahlia here. Can you guys see that? Off camera, I'll get all the dirt off of all of these. Right, this is, I'm gonna give you guys an idea of how this is gonna look on the table. In case you're like, what the heck? What are they doing? I'm just over here stenciling. All right, we're gonna pull you back a little. Okay, can you guys see my vision coming to life here? Let's get the one, the other pepper plant. I thought about getting cilantro. I couldn't find any. Oops, don't worry about that. It, I got I watered it before. Are I you moving it. the camera so they can see? Did you move yeah, it? Yeah, I put it so they can see. There we go. All right, we got a question here. I'm gonna plant Leon another one. Darko, let me read this real quick. Okay. So I bought a piece of furniture and I know there's gonna be bleed through. What is the best way to cover up that stuff? Salvation solution? Yeah, I would say. We love it and you can use it indoors. It's not super stinky. It does have a little bit of like an alcohol smell to it, but it's very faint. And the stuff's magic. It works really well. I did make um, the flower. <laughs> That's gonna die over the angle. I'm it's it's fine. We just we we're just the boat the boat's leaning a little bit today. Folded and then you tie them in the middle and then you open them up and make flowers. Um, I cheated a little. I ordered them pre-folded on Amazon. But yeah, that's the, we did. Eliza and I made those this morning. Okay, so there's that one. That's drier now. All right, this one needs to be planted. And this one kind of turned out like the other one, even with kissing booth in it. So instead of Marquee, I used Kissing Booth and um, Summer Crush and Liquid Sunshine. I'm going to just shove this down into this cracks of this can. After this, I got to mow the grass. Yeah. 
No, after this, we gotta go to church and film, and yep. then we gotta mow the grass. All right. We're gonna film I'm pretty the much church done. Oh, I have oh, one more. Need... I have one oh, more. Oh, you have can. one more bag done. So we need to bag up this. So if you're just tuning in, we're gonna show you how to cover it with bag. If you don't want to salt wash the outside. Okay, this one's planted. Oh, that's a crazy angle too. Did you do that angle? Yeah, that's on me. Yeah, you gotta go that way a little because it's prettier on that side. The mess is over here. It's, this is this brown mess situation. All right, I'll, I'll stencil this one. Okay, go ahead and stencil that while I put this the bag down. Stencil. Oh, I gotta work over here if you stencil? I don't yeah. wanna work in your spot. What's wrong with my spot? <laughs> it's not great. What are you trying to say? Are you saying my space is messy? A little bit. It's okay. Stencing on a cylindrical surface is not easy. Creative minds are rarely tidy. Is that is that the saying? Mine is never tidy, and that is the saying. That is the saying. All right, but I can't show them what I'm doing. I know, but I'm... I'm hiding behind the flowers now. It's like my natural element. It's all right, they saw me put this in. All I'm doing is dropping this, this planted I'm jalapeno. So okay, we're gonna do this one here. I'm gonna do this green, this green is pretty. Salty Kiss, I actually got the memory in my phone the other day, the day the Salty Kiss was born. Cause I was in California with Debbie when we mixed the colors and this came up. We were collaborating. So I just cut the corners down, kind of just folding this over, and then we will wrap the top of this with that twine or whatever. Kind of crinkle it up as Jamie likes to do. That kissing booth is, booth is thick. Yeah, you have it's, to it's, like, it. it's like salt wash unto itself. It's all right. Got that on there. Oops, I ripped it a little. It'll be okay. <laughs> I ripped it a little. It's okay. I think I'm going to use the white twine on this one. I'm sure there's like some perfectionist OCD people that are like, oh my gosh, how is she working in that area? To that, I apologize. All right. Got all the colors on this one. That salty kiss though is really pretty. That might be one of my more favorite colors. I can't read the comments. Did you lose them? No. Oh. Super focused on tying this knot over here. Michelle says, I started late and I think Jamie has a heart for Mexico. I do. I grew up next to the border. You'll have to watch the replay to hear the whole story. We talked story. a lot about it. <laughs> we have more stories. I'm sure someday I'll tell more about them, but it was a really fun childhood. My dad was a housing developer. So that's how we wound up in Calexico. He was like the first person to build track houses like in a large format in calexico and ironically he also was friends with larry bertrand who helped open fedmart with sergio i think was his name i would have to ask again mm -hmm. but debbie's half sister's grandpa and my dad he also did housing with sergio um worked together in calexico in the 70s and I, neither of us knew this, and Debbie's half-sister also grew up in Calexico. And when we met at Debbie's grand opening last year, I was talking about Calexico, and I started talking about my dad, and I was like, yeah, my dad built Via de Oro. She's like, my grandpa built Via de Oro. And I was like, what? So that was like an instant connection, because nobody really, unless you've been to Calexico, you don't really know where it's at. 
All right, my tying skills are not great. I'm gonna have to make this crunchy. I ripped it a little. Still cool though. This cool. I like it. Old paint cans. All right, we'll show them, show them the little uh, arrangement we have over there. Okay. Oh, we gotta plant one more. One more. And then we're done. Well, and a lot of people do party favors and they're like stuff that people throw away, but I just thought this was a really great party favor, one per family coming and they can use it. And I planted it in junk. So if they replanted it, if they replant it in their yard, it's not like we're wasting a pot. Plus decorations are usually throwaway, right? And so I just use throwaway stuff to make my decorations. So all good things. All right. Also, you guys get to do this with me because I don't have extra time today and I had to do it anyways. <laughs> There's the crux There's the of it. Crux. I was like, how can I turn this into a waste not Wednesday? I gotta decorate. Does Big Jack speak Spanish? Nope. Ironically, my dad does not speak Spanish and he actually worked in Calexico more years than I lived there because we used to live in Yuma and he would travel back and forth to Calexico. The one of the things he told me is like, you have to learn Spanish. I'm like, why do I have to learn Spanish? You don't know Spanish. He's like, because it would have been a lot easier if I had learned it. So I, I had to learn it because the duty guards in the playground did not speak English. So trial by fire. All right, last one done. Boom. Okay. okay. Let's, uh, I'll show you one more pan with all of them over there. And I think... We're, I don't think we have any more crafts to do, but we do have a lot of mess so. to clean up. Yeah, we're going to clean up. We're going to go visit the church. We're going to film that. And I will try to get some pictures or some video of the decorations once they're done. Maybe I'll pop those into tomorrow's video too. The JRV at home. It used to be the Stay at Home Shopping Network, and now it's just like JRV at home in the shop. So there you go. Hit jamierayvintage.com up for the paint and products we use. In fact, I don't think I've said that at all. But you can buy the paint, you can buy the stencils at jamierevintage.com. Be sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to Jamie Vintage for more. DIY. Love you guys. Happy Cinco de Mayo.